Welcome, welcome. Today's video is a Lego speed building challenge. Pretty niche, I know, but I'm a big fan of Lego. And today's model is something I've been eyeing up for quite a while. The Lamborghini Countach. Now, if like me, you were a young lad growing up in the 80s and you were into your cars, there is a very, very, very strong chance that you had a poster of one of these bad boys on your wall. And today's challenge is I am going to see how long it takes me to build this model. I was going to do it, viewers, as a, as a race. I couldn't find anyone else who'd done it as a time challenge. So what I thought I'd do is I'd set the, set, the, set the challenge, put the time up, and then if anyone wants to have a crack at beating it, go for it. So if anyone's expecting an unboxing, this probably isn't for you. Although I will do my best to review and discuss it as we go through. Okay, let's open it. Bag one, bag two, and I imagine the beginning of the chassis. Stickers to make it look perfect and an instruction book, which I will undoubtedly need. For the record, I can't actually remember how many pieces it was, but I will put in um, a graphic here, which will explain exactly how many pieces it is, just so you know. All right, let's get the stopwatch up on my watch. See so if I thought about this a little bit better and planned it out a little bit better, I'd have had a little stopwatch here or here, that you could watch in real time, but it'll come as no secret to you by now, what, we're six or seven videos in? I'm just definitely not that organized. So, stopwatch, reset. Mm, stick that there. Let's go. All right, bag one. Out of the way. A little history lesson for you, viewers. One of the reasons I, one of the things I thought about when starting this channel was, do I do a dedicated Lego channel? <clears throat> Some people might see it a bit geeky, but you know, I love it. And uh, me and my daughter uh, do a lot of Lego together. And I thought I'm gonna make a Lego channel, build stuff, report and stuff, but there's a lot of it out there already. And I'm not to say I won't do it in the future, but who knows? Anyway, first things first, we've got to build the little racing driver, man. Let's get all this out of the way. So we need a helmet, head. Oh, I'll do better. Oh, am I supposed to work like this? Do you put the helmet on or do you put the hair on? Look at this. Hi. I'm gonna go for hair, I think. Legs, helmet, body, legs, body, head, helmet. And there's your little visor. Could be upside down. Ooh. Helmet. Am I crazy? Does it look a little bit like me, maybe? So, anyway, job one done. Oh, hold on, he's got a wrench. Where's the wrench? There we are. Quite what he needs a wrench for, I don't know. Maybe he's expecting a few carjackers in, in Lego town. But anyway, there we go. Shall I stick him here? You can watch him. Right, let's go. <coughs> so we need two of these, two of these, and one of these. All right, let's get cooking. Bit of a slow start, I know, but we'll get there. Okay, go on there like that. 
two of these and one of these bish bash bosh right, we're cooking on gas now viewers Go, little chassis coming along. So here's a question for you all. Two-parter, because that's how we roll. If you were to have any supercar on the planet, including a vintage Lamborghini Countach, what would it be? And the two-parter question, because I guess there'll be people who are watching this who prefer Lego over supercars. What is, in your mind, the best Lego set? And for non-Lego fans, I guess I'll throw a little bit extra in, because for anyone who's not familiar with Lego, I urge you just to have a little Google and see some of the incredible incredible sets that are knocking around and if anyone is looking for a birthday present idea for me which my birthday is at the end of November uh, I would very much like the home alone house please so now you know right I think one job I might give myself is maybe watch a few more Lego videos see how they See how they do this and edit this to keep it interesting. If you're after someone who knows what they're doing from a Lego building perspective, check out a guy called Half Asleep Chris. I'll also link to it in the description. That guy, he makes incredible, incredible videos full stop, but also incredible uh, Lego videos. I actually really got no idea how long this is gonna take me. But what I do know is my family are quarantined in the lounge until I'm finished, so. Better not hang around. I actually thought, I actually thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger than this. There you go. What do I know? One, two. Right, anyone see a wheel arch somewhere? Yep, one, two, there we go. Do you know what, Lego is clever, isn't it? Like I said a minute ago, I, just check out some of the designs. If you're not familiar with Lego, just go and check out some of the designs and see what they've got. It will blow your mind, I promise. Does it look like a Lamborghini yet? What do you reckon? <clears throat> 11 and a half minutes in, by the way. It's gone quick. <laughs> I didn't actually think it, I don't know, I had no idea how long I thought it'd be, but. Hmm, it's gonna take some pretty impressive editing to keep you like entertained on this one, I'm sure of it. As someone who's not really that familiar with the Speed Champions range from Lego, I genuinely thought it was gonna be bigger than this. Not quite Technic Lego bigger, but I thought it'd be, I thought it'd be up there building the back end of this Lambo now. And as every supercar aficionado knows, a supercar has got to have an amazing back end. Do you know I've got an another one of these models I'm gonna build around another specialist subject of mine. And I think I'm trying to learn this stop motion stuff. I think that when I do that one, that is how I might um, approach it. So, and let this one put you off, it's an experiment. The next one will be even better. Do you know, if I didn't know any better, I'd think I'd build an aeroplane at the moment. Look at that. What do you reckon? Exhaust pipes? <laughs> Ooh. Our first sticker of the day. Let's see how badly I can bodge this up.
Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, where are we at? Oh, I see. There we go. Back of the car. Koi. There you go. That's where we're at so far. Ooh. What do you reckon? Start to take shape. <gasps> that is bag one done. Now bag two. I'm going to assume that these little bits are spares rather than bits I've missed. Hello. For the record, bag one took me 27 minutes. Again, I've got no idea whether that's good, no idea whether it's quick, nothing to compare it to. But handy to know. All right. Let's get the wheels out of the way and the windscreen. Even though it's pretty small and a little bit, like, you know, finickety, it does feel really solid. Really solid. See? Good, eh? One of the annoyances with YouTube, and this is a minor criticism, because I do love the platform, obviously, is ordinarily I really like, like to be listening to music when I do this sort of thing, but from what I understand in my limited YouTube knowledge, you can't have music on the background because you start getting um, copyright strikes and stuff. If anyone has got any ideas of the solution to that problem, Feel free to get in the comments and let me know. Because I am very conscious of my own voice. And it's a little bit boring. Oh. I was just thinking, that's not attached very well, look. It's only on that little one thing. And then I realized there's the door. Oh. Okay. So I guess now we'll make the other door. Et voila, the other door. <laughs> a steering wheel and a little gear knob. That's the cockpit done. Cool, eh? I think the second bag is going to be significantly quicker than the first bag. Feel it. Front wheel arches. These stickers are really quite challenging to get on straight. And you don't really get more than one shot at it because if you bodge it, which I've done on a couple, you can't peel them off again without them getting ruined. I don't know what the solution to that problem is, Lego, but I feel like you need one. What do you reckon? Do you reckon the front end of my Lambo? Oh, man. <laughs> Just start talking about stickers. More bloody stickers. I'm not gonna lie. This is starting to look pretty cool. Lambo badge. Find a street. Stop the clock. 44 minutes and 48 seconds. And that is what we're left with. Lamborghini Countach. Small, admittedly, but I'm pretty impressed with that. But it's cool, very cool. 
And if you're if you're a man of a certain age, I say man, a bit sexist maybe, but I think back when in the eighties when I was a kid, Lambos are definitely a, a, a boy's dream more than a girl's dream, but fully aware things have changed these days. I have two young girls, and if they want to love if they want to love Lambos, I'm all for it. But there we go, finished Lamborghini Countach. The next one is a similar model, and I give you my word that I will make it um, a bit more of an entertaining video. Now I know what I'm doing, now I've got a benchmark, now I've got something to work from, the next one will be better. See you soon.